Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the release procedures in SAP MEM. So the release procedure is the one by which the document, either it may be a purchase order or a purchase requisition, it, it will undergo different approval process. So we are configuring this this approval process in order to prevent the printout of the document uh, before they go through the approval process. So the the document can be uh, entered into its uh, final step only when it is fully uh, released so we can make the configuration uh, of uh, approval process by different levels of people in an organization uh, let's say for, from from the end user uh, to the highest uh, highest priority of the uh, organization either it, it may be a ceo or uh, uh, mt so let's enter into the configuration so i'm in this video i'm going to discuss about the release procedure and uh, uh, purchase purchase order getting into the material management Then into purchasing so in this i'm going to enter into purchase order so here uh, release procedure for purchase order so we can see the characteristics class and defined release procedure for purchase orders so the characteristics is the one by which uh, uh, it represents the characteristics of the uh, approval process so the characteristics may be either uh, purchase group or purchasing organization or it may be a net order value else it, it can it can be uh, it can be uh, based on the uh, net document value so in this video i am going to perform the release procedure based on uh, my purchase organization so let's do the configuration uh, so click on edit characteristics so i can give uh, any characteristics name let it be uh, b or p my plant name so click on create so i should i should remember this uh, characteristics name so i can give any description so click on a character character format since my uh, purchase uh, purchase organization is in character format so my length of the uh, character is 4 length of the purchase or organization character is 4 so i'm specifying it as 4 so it may be a multiple value so after giving these entries so I need to go with the additional data where I am specifying the table name as EKKO and the, and the field is EKORG it is a purchase organization so after clicking the enter So I should get this uh, information. That is a format data taken from a app directory. So then only my configuration is uh, correct. So click on save. So my characteristics is saved. So now I'm going to move with my next step. That is edit class. So the name of the class let it be brp and the class type is 032 this is specifically for uh, release st strategies so after giving this class type i need to click on enter or create so i'm going to link my characteristics in this class 
so uh, give any description so then I am going to click on characteristics so uh, in my previous step I have created a characteristics called uh, PRP so um, I am linking that thing in this class and I am saving the entry so I am now moving to the next step that is define release procedure for purchase orders so these things I have to uh, give the entry so getting into the release groups so there is already some entries here so it's just I want to delete these things after deleting the entry click on save so make sure that uh, no other entry is uh, available if, if, if it is kindly delete it so that uh, our configuration will be uh, clear so there is no entry so now I can uh, go on with my configuration steps so the first step is release groups click on new entry so release groups uh, let's say I uh, be so my class is BRP just now I have configured click on enter click on save so after this entry moving back so now I'm going to do the release codes so here uh, uh, my release group is BE so I'm, I'm maintaining a code let it be 10 so I'm naming it 10 as uh, my manager and 20 as my assistant manager so first the assistant manager has to release the document then goes the manager so in such a way I am going to design so I have saved the entry so the, the next step is release indicators so kindly don't change these configurations it is already available with your uh, uh, system so use these configurations so I'm, I'm not changing any any of this configuration uh, so clicking on back then moving into the early strategies so click on new entry so my release group is BE so I'm I'm entering new strategy this is my first strategy let it be named strategy so here I am uh, linking my uh, release codes click on enter so save it so it, it says please check the release pre prerequisites so click on release prerequisites uh, tick this thing click on continue then click on release statuses so I'm changing this So released no changes so this is blocked if, if no ticks is available it is called blocked if only one tick is available it is uh, blocked changeable with value so if both the ticks are present it is released so click on continue click on save so now I'm going to click on uh, classifications So here it uh, it uh, it demands for the purchase organization. So my purchase organization is BERP. Click on enter, then move back. Then finally I'm clicking on release simulation. Okay. Click on simulate release. Double click on release possible. Okay, it is affected. Okay. So my configurations got over.
so I'm saving the entry okay so my configuration is over now I'm going to check my uh, configuration so that uh, creating a new purchase order and then I will uh, release the purchase order so this is my purchase order we have already created a purchase order we have a uh, So I'm giving my uh, entries. So kindly refer my previous videos for uh, for configuration these uh, uh, fields. So uh, as I said pre previously, it is a continuation video. So if you want to learn from uh, from the first thing, kindly refer my previous videos. So I have created the purchase order. So let's check one time. So enter the plant. My plant is BRP. Then click on save. So click on save. So my purchase order number is created that is 45001127271 So in order to release the purchase order I should go with the uh, takeout ME29N So remember this PO number 17271 Okay here uh, click on document overview on So in order to search my purchase order so it, it, this is not my purchase order so I want to check my purchase order uh, that, that ends with 171 click on my purchase order so it will display my uh, last done purchase order so click on close so this is my last created purchase order double click on it so here click on this uh, pencil symbol so that I can edit this thing so in this purchase order just click on header so we will get a new tab that is a release strategy tab so the, uh, this is our configuration so uh, I will tell this shortcut you can release from here itself click on this uh, icon it will get released and then uh, the assistant manager too so uh, this way I can release it is a shortcut but I, I have I should not do like this I have to release this on uh, take code ma28 okay okay um, I'll just uh, cancel the release and save the document I will perform uh, with the ma28 t code itself so it is a shortcut if you want to try uh, if you want to make some quick entries you can use this shortcut otherwise you, you should uh, do with the t code ma28 so I have not uh, release the document I will do it in uh, with the ME28 T code that is ME28 so my first release code is 10 that is uh, assistant manager so click on this uh, set release then click on execute the scope of list is best 
so this is my uh, last created purchase order just click on click on the purchase order number and just then click on release plus save okay so similarly uh, do with the second release code that is 20 and click on execute then click on click on the uh, purchase order number and click on release plus save okay the release is saved so now you can check on uh, ma 29 t code uh, document over you on search my purchase order oh, so, so I have selected the purchase requisition my purchase orders double click on uh, 271 click on header uh, don't forget to click on this uh, pencil symbol okay it is released so now I can save the purchase order so likewise we can uh, do it so that's it with the uh, release procedure so in this uh, video I have uh, I have uh, made this video with the uh, purchase organization as my characteristics uh, field so in my next video we will discuss about uh, how to release the uh, how, how to configure the release procedure using the net order value okay thank you guys for watching this video kindly subscribe to my video thank you